I ain't gonna lie, I was traumatized too. I, I, it, my first time watching this movie, I, I couldn't speak for like a couple hours. Like I just, I wanted to be alone. I didn't want to talk to people. Yeah, you know, I, I came out of the room. Every, I saw it at the production company in their screening room and, and everybody at Annapurna was like, what'd you think, what'd you think? And they were all excited and you know, I, I couldn't really respond. Like I wasn't excited because the, I, I, I was carrying something inside of me now when I left that room that I had to, I had to digest, you know, and, and that's, that's what this film does is it gives you a meal to really take in and really process. The last thing we can do is run away from our history. The la that's the worst thing that we could ever do as a country. You know, this, this movie is not black history. This is American history. We can all learn from it. Apart from it being just an amazing, amazingly told story, it's also a teachable moment, you know, and as human beings, like how can we be better, better citizens to each other? I've been blessed to work a lot in Detroit with the United Way Foundation, um, with the high schools in Detroit that they are a part of, and um, just helping, you know, motivate and inspire the kids to stay in school and go to college. You know, I went to Howard, so I'm always obviously trying to push people to go to a HBCU. It doesn't have to be Howard. I'd prefer it to be Howard, but it doesn't have to be Howard. But uh, just as long as you know they go to HBCUs, because um, I feel like when you go to a HBCU, you get a certain intangible. I feel like HBCUs give you a certain intangible that you can't get anywhere else. There's a trait that we all kind of, you know, have that you know, when, we, when we recognize each other, it's almost like, ah, okay. You know, kind of like you know, when you see another black person you know, in an all white environment, you, know, you just give each other the nod like, what's up? You know, like, I acknowledge you, it's the same thing. At the premiere, there was a lady who was in the Algiers Motel the night that happened. You know, and, and she was like, I haven't talked to anybody about this in 50 years. You know, so it, it was, it was like one of those moments where you're like, oh man, like deep down inside, I was thinking, I hope we got this story right. Cause a lot of people is gonna be mad in Detroit. You don't want a lot of Detroit people mad at you <laughs> all at one time. But everybody gave it the thumbs up. People were 100% behind the movie. The people that lived through it especially, you know, and even we screened it for Congressman John Conyers over here on um, Capitol Hill and the CBC, the Congressional Black Caucus, you know, and he was, he was astounded and somber, you know? So it was like, wow, like he, it, it touched him as well. I'm, I'm just really, really proud of this movie. I'm really proud to be a part of it. Um, this is like one of those movies that you're just thankful that you do what you, like this is when they say living the dream, like this is one of those living the dream type moments. When you do something that you're just so proud of just to be a part of it and to help educate and hopefully move society's dial in the right direction.